Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Today we are looking at the Nuka Cola Quantum X01 paint that you can get in Fallout 76. This paint, as you can see right now, supports the whole Nuka Cola Quantum look for the X01 Parmer. It's very easy to get, you just need to do a few little steps to get a few keys. It's uh, very fast and it will take you no longer than 20 minutes to get. It's also a free paint, so it might be worth picking up as well. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe because I did notice that most of my, uh, most of my views comes from non-subscribers. So if you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first location you're going to have to go to is the Kanawa Nuka-Cola plant. This is south from Vault 76. You can see Vault 76 there. You're just going to the Nuka-Cola plant and you're going to be going into the main entrance. So the main entrance is exactly where I am on the screen. You're just going to go into the main entrance. The Nuka-Cola plant is full of ghouls. So just be careful with that. They are a little tough, but you can take care of them pretty easy. But once you spawn into the Nuka Cola plant, you're going to just follow my character on screen right now up through this door. And you're going to see this globe in the middle of the room. You're just going to go to the left of this uh, this globe. You're going to see this door. This door is going to be locked, but it's uh, you don't need a skill point to like, you know, open or anything. So you can just open it straight away. You're going to open up the stall, get into the stall, close it. And you will see our first key card right here on the floor. You're going to pick that up and now we're going to go to the next location. The second location we are going to be going to is Tanagra Town. This is just east of Top of the World. So you see Top of the World there. You're just going to be going east to Tanagra Town. Once you unlock T uh, Tanagra Town as a location itself, you're just going to fast travel to it. Because if you fast travel to it, you'll be able to follow my route on screen right now. Because getting on top of this town is a little tricky. So you're just going to follow my character on screen right now. And... It's it's it is a little tricky, so I would recommend having some sort of uh, mutations like marsupial. Marsupial makes this a lot easier. But you're just gonna follow my character on screen, and we're just gonna take this a little route. So I'll just talk us through it because this is a little tricky. So you're gonna be coming into this bus right here, out the back, up along this car, and along these stairs. Now, as I said, Marsupial is just very good for doing this bit. You're going to see the broken down uh, house right here. You're just going to continue following my character on screen right now until we get to the very top, which is right here. So once you make it to the very top of Tanagra Town, you're just going to be following my character right now. You're going to see a broken down house. You're just going to hop over into it. Just follow my character right now. And we're just going across to this triangle uh, flag um, scrap piece. Once you get over, you're just going to pick it up. And there is the second key card that you need. So pick up this key card and we'll go to the next, the next location. So the next location we are going to is the crashed plane location. So you can see Tanagra Town right here. The crash plane is just above it right here. There's top of the world if you just need a reference right there. So this is the crash plane location. Once you spawn in, you're going to see the plane just up in the trees, the vines, wherever you want to call it. And we're basically just going to be going to the middle of the plane. And you're just going to see all of this right here. You're going to see two suitcases. You're going to be going to the one further, uh, the nearest to the ground. And we're going to pick up the Nuka-Cola Marketing As Access Code. Once you pick that up, we are going to the next location. So the next location we are going to is Ingram Mansion. This is just north of Top of the World. So you can just see it there on the map. You will have to go up some hills if you're coming from Morgantown. But um, yeah, you're going to Ingram Mansion. This place is full of cultists. Just take them out. But you're going to be following my character on screen right now to the very back of the mansion. So just follow my character on screen right now. This place has definitely changed since the last time I um, I was here on the Xbox. So you're going to be going in through these broken windows right here over to this terminal. So when we when we get over to the terminal, you're going to go to generate a one time key. Make sure you write this key a uh, key down because you will have to do everything I just did 
to get this key um key again so you can see right now that my um generate key code is 372003 you need to write down your own specific one because if you don't you're going to um lose the key and you won't be able to get the uh, power armor so just keep that in mind write this down because you will have to regenerate if you um if you can't remember it so the next location we are going to is the overlook cabin you can see this is east of the kanawa nuka plant it is also south of Vol 76, so you can see Vol 76 there. We are going to the Overlook Cabin. So you're just going to be following my character on screen right now. We are you're going to enter this building. We're going to go to the right. And we're going to continue going to the right all the way down to these stairs. Follow my character right now down these stairs. And you're going to be going to this room right here. You're going to take a right. And you're going to see this wall right here looking a little broken. Now, we got two of the key cards, so you're going to enter one key card here. We just entered the first one. You're going to enter the second one right here. And this is just going to open up the door right behind us. So once you've done that, you're going to look at this keypad. That generated key that we just got is going to work on this. Now, my key code is actually different from the one I just showed on screen because I ended up regenerating it again to see if I actually had it right and it just made me a new one. So I have to enter in the new one. So I'm going to enter that in right now. You can see that it worked. And once you put into that code, you're going to exit that little room right there. You're going to be coming back out and you'll see that the room across the way has now opened. You're just going to enter it and you will see the TNT DOM key 7 right there. You now have that key permanently, so you won't have to do all the previous steps but just remember if for some reason the key is not here or somebody has already took it on you know in their game you will have to do every single step again to be able to get this key but once you got this key we are now going to the final location to get the nuka cola quantum power armor and finally, the last location you need to go to is the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. You're going to be right where I am on the screen right here. You're going to see the uh, main structures right there in front of you. You're just going to turn around, follow my character on screen right now. So I will show you exactly where we are on the screen. So we're exactly right here. This is the Dome 7. So you're going to use the TNT Dome 7 key. And once you get in, you will see the plan right here on the table. You're going to learn the plan. And now you just unlock the Nuka Cola Quantum Paint for the X01 Power Armor. So, guys, if you found this video helpful and you want to support me, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.